Okay, so welcome back to my channel, guys. Bitsat is just over, and I hope you guys did well. And even if you didn't, this video is for all of you guys. And uh, it's not only for the low scoring students, it's also for the average scoring and the high scoring students. Because a lot of questions have been coming in my past videos from students who are even low scoring, from students who are even average and even high scoring students. So everyone wants to increase their marks. So I just thought, let's make a video categorizing for the low students, average scoring students and the high scoring students. So before we even start this video, you might, you guys might be thinking like, why even listen to me? Who am I? Like, what is my credibility? For those of you who don't know, I have got a 325 in Bitsat, which gave me any campus that I wanted. Uh, I chose the Goa campus. I also mentored a lot of my father's friends, kids, and my cousins also who were younger than me. And in this video, I will give you everything that I've taught them. It is a complete roadmap for Bitsat for your second attempt in June. And also like every video I make is different than the others. If you've seen, I don't know if you've seen a lot of other YouTubers, they are using the same like content, but they are making a lot of videos. And this is becoming like a money, ma money making scheme for them where they are just making clickbait thumbnails and they are sharing the same things that they mentioned in the previous videos, but they are making different, different videos for it. I am not that person. I try to every video better than the previous video. And in every video, I try to give a different strategy or a different thing that comes up in my mind. I'm trying to talk to a lot of Bitsians and trying to ask them how they did it and what strategies they used and trying to inculcate as many as I can in this video. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so firstly, let's come to the low scoring students. These are students who are probably with a percentile of below 95% in JE mains. And the problem that they are facing is they are probably attempting out of 130 questions, they're probably att attempting 70, 80 questions with a probable score of 120 to 150 range somewhere nearby. And I think the problem they are facing is they have covered lesser syllabus and they are also forgetting the concepts and the formulas. So for these people, I would suggest start making three books, take three empty books, each for physics, chemistry, maths, right? And divide each book into three sections. Okay. First section will be strong chapters. Second section will be medium chapters. Third section will be weak chapters and start filling this book, right? Before you even fill this book, start also making sure that you are doing at least three mocks per week. And like try not only doing these mocks, try to understand where you are going wrong in these mocks. So try to analyze the mocks after you have done it. If you've done a mock on Tuesday, you finish your day or whatever at the end of the day, just before going to sleep or something, go through how you have answered the paper, see what you have made wrong, what mistakes would be made and whichever questions you don't know the answer to either ask them to your friends or you just understand how to solve them because it's very important to fill, complete the whole paper. Like a lot of people, what they do is they'll answer the 70, 80 questions and whichever rest 50, 60, jo bhi questions, bache, wo log chhod de de. don't do that. Like understand the solution of those 50, 60 questions. Only then will you be able to understand ki kahan galti ki maine ya kya meko nahi aaya. So that is very important. From solving these mocks, you'll come to know which subjects are weak, which subjects are strong for you. And I would suggest whichever chapter it is whether it's a strong subject mid medium chap medium subject or a weak subject try to do five questions at least per subtopic followed by solved examples and followed by subject wise tests don't do chapter wise tests so take any chapters in ionic equations you'll go to the subtopics and you will solve five questions from there then after you finish that whole chapter go to the solved examples fully solve all the solved examples and cover the solutions of the solved examples and see what is it how are they solving it versus how are you solving it and which which one is better okay if their solution is better start solving more through their solutions right apart from that how are you going to plan your weeks okay till the bits at start with strong chapters because this is something that will give you confidence ki ha meko matlab 60 70 percent portion matlab portion mein se meko itna kuch to aata hai which is very strong so start solving in strong chapters, do more tests from the strong chapters so that those strong chapters have aage ja ke bhool na jaye. Okay, whichever chapters you're doing, always make sure that you are revising them. And if you are not able to revise them completely, like I said, the formula books that you had made, the three of them, start revising all of them. Okay, because it's not humanly possible to, matlab sare chapters dekhna is not possible, right? So when you make a formula book, you get the short and brief important notes. This is why the formula books are very important. Okay, and I think it's very tough to keep awake, keep yourself awake. 
एंड सो वॉट आई यूज टू डू इज आई यूज टू वेन एवर आई टू गेट स्लीप मतलब नींद आती थी तो मैं मॉक टेस्ट करता था राइट सो वेन एवर यू आर फीलिंग स्लीपी और वेन एवर यू आर फीलिंग टायर्ड एंड यू डोंट फील लाइक डूइंग एनी थिंग टेक अ ब्रेक हाफ एन आवर का ब्रेक एंड टेल योर सेल्फ कि हाँ अभी आधे घंटे में मेरा बिट साइट एग्जाम होने वाला है एंड आई हैव टू प्रिपेयर माई सेल्फ फॉर इट ओके एंड नॉट ओनली डू यू प्रिपेयर फॉर इट फिनिश इट एनालाइज इट एंड देन रिवाइज द फॉर्मूला बुक एंड सी विच फॉर्मूलाज यू प्रॉपली ऐसे हो सकता है कि एक्स स्क्वायर बाई पॉइंट जेड था आपने एक्स क्यूब बाई बाई जेड ऐसे कुछ करके फॉर्मूला कैलकुलेट किया होगा सो डो यू विल अंडरस्टैंड वॉट मिस्टेक्स आर यू मेकिंग एंड यू नो हाउ टू रेक्टिफाई दम दिस इज द बेस्ट स्ट्रेटेजी फॉर द लो स्कोरिंग स्टूडेंट्स ओके नाउ कमिंग टू द मिड स्कोरिंग स्टूडेंट्स ओके जिनका परसेंटाइल प्रॉब्ली रहेगा नाइन्टी फाइव परसेंट से नाइन्टी एट पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट तक ओके सो इनका मेन प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट विल बी दैट दे आर सॉल्विंग अराउंड नाइन्टी टू हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन आउट ऑफ वन थर्टी द स्कोर दे आर प्रॉब्ली गेटिंग इज अराउंड टू हंड्रेड टू टू ट्वेंटी राइट एंड द थिंग दैट यू गाइज माइट बी लुकिंग फॉर वुड बी टू इम्प्रूव योर स्कोर फॉर अ मच बेटर ब्रांच लाइक तुम लोगों को बिट्स मिल रहा है बट यू आर गेटिंग अ मच लोअर ब्रांच सो यू गाइज आर ट्राइंग टू गेट अ मच बेटर ब्रांच आउट ऑफ so for you guys you can just make one formula book instead of making three formula books like pehle in the previous part in the for the low scoring students maine unko bola tha ki teen formula books banao physics chemistry maths ke liye tum logon ke liye aisa nahi hai you guys can just make one formula book and you can divide it into three sections ek ho gaya physics ek ho gaya chemistry ek ho gaya maths you don't need separate books for that you can just divide one book into those three and try to fill this book with a lot of concepts and a lot of problems not only problems but even formulas to main kya karta tha they suppose there's a difficult question right so rather than it's like wo question main solve kar pata tha if i've done it again and again and again but वैसे type ke similar questions i would struggle kyunki kya hota hai ki when you've done one question you start by hearting that question to wo question mein i can understand ki kya kya karna hai but usi type ka similar question aa jaye to mere ko samajh nahi aata tha kya karu so This is where the formula book com- comes into picture. Where I am not solving this question and writing it down on the formula book. Rather, I'm I'm writing the methods to solve this question, and then I'm writing it on the formula book. So what I mean by that is, right, rather than writing ki hundred divided by two and all of that calculations वगैरह on the formula book, rather than writing them, you can just write ki पहले ये method आता है, फिर इधर से ये formula आता है, फिर इधर से ये calculation आता है, and उसके बाद ये formula आता है. So when you write it in that way, your brain byhearts the method as opposed to byhearting the whole question, right? So this is something that I used, and I was also a mid-scoring student only. I used to get like around that range only. Pehle when I just started answering mocks, right? So after that, I got like a three twenty-five and everything. वो बाद में हुआ. And you have to realize that the more mocks that you answer, the more your score can increase. And that is why for you guys, you have to answer at least five mocks per week. which will help you increase your accuracy and your time management okay and for you guys you don't need to focus on the strong chapters start focusing on the medium chapters and the weak chapters kyunki strong chapters mein tum log ace kar rahe ho like you guys are getting pretty good in the strong chapters so try as much as possible to increase your accuracy in the med- medium chapters and the weak chapters okay do a lot of mock tests and the more mock tests that you do the more you will get familiar with the paper aisa nahi hona chahiye ki you are doing you have done only five mock tests before bitsat then bitsat will be like a sixth mock test for you rather than that if you've done 15 20 mock tests and then you go for bitsat bitsat is just like any other mock test and it will be a very similar paper for you you'll know what questions will come how ty- what type of questions come so the main reason for the mock test for you guys is to get familiar with the paper so that is what you have to do and firstly something that you have to be doing is you have to try and solve as many questions as possible like try to solve the full paper and see ki kahan matlab galti ho rahi hai kitne marks aa rahe hain because you guys have to start targeting bonus questions that is your next goal bonus questions the 12 bonus questions that you get you can increase your score with that so try answering the full paper in 2 and 1/2 hours not even 3 hours 2 and 1/2 hours so that you have extra 30 minutes for those 12 bonus questions okay that is what your strategy should be and that is why i mentioned answer more and more mocks because that will help you increase your accuracy and your time management skills okay so this is for the medium students now coming to the high scoring students the high scoring students the category would be about 98.5 percentile if you are in this category like kudos to you like it's the great, it's one of the greatest place to be in if you are in this category right now you still have a month you can still boost your score i'm guessing you guys might be answering more than 110 questions per paper and you guys might be scoring somewhere in the range of like about 275 at least right uh 
your target would be that you are getting good branches but you want to get the best branch in all the campuses right for you guys the formula book is not also like it's not even needed like you guys can create a formula book only for your weak chapters jo chapters matlab yaad hi nahi rehte hai jo chapters padhe nahi hai lekin unka bas formula ratna hai and you know the application वगैरह just write that formula on the formula book keep it like teen char pages ka formula book rahega tum logon ka you can just go through that book whenever just before solving the paper or something like that for you guys i would suggest that you have to do one mock every day okay you have to get as familiar with the paper as possible okay and you have to make sure ek aisa hota hai graph the graph for these kind of people is it goes like this okay it's an exponential graph but either pauch ke it becomes stagnant so to go above this plateau you have to reduce your silly mistakes as much as possible okay the more you learn the more you grow but ek point ke baad wo idhar hi atak jata hai like 275 280 275 265 270 aise types ke scores aayenge okay you want to go above this score so you have to change your method of approach you have to reduce your silly mistakes and something that will help you change your method of approach is for you guys only this is only for the top scoring students and that is to start solving je pyqs start solving je questions only the previous year's questions don't do the book ke questions okay because je book ke questions bahut tough rehte hai kyunki wo log tougher dete hai taki je crack ho sake so when you do je ke pyqs it will not only help you prepare for your je advance and everything it can also help you come down and bitsat becomes a piece of cake for you so if you can solve je pyqs on the same time bitsat pyqs becomes very easy for you and no one will tell you this right apart from the mock test i would suggest to start doing chapter wise questions only for you guys not for other people start doing chapter wise questions only for the weak chapters okay these weak chapters you want to try and get as familiar as possible with them and nothing better than doing chapter wise questions because you you also want to increase your accuracy and your time management because you guys are solving more than 110 questions you will need more like jo medium scoring students hote wo 100 ya 90 questions answer karke baki ke जो भी क्वेश्चन है वो तुक्के करेंगे राइट यू गाइज आर सॉल्विंग मोर क्वेश्चन सो यू नीड टू इंक्रीज योर टाइम इवन मोर ओके सो 110 क्वेश्चंस इन 110 120 क्वेश्चंस इन लेस देन टू एंड हाफ आवर्स इज वेरी टफ ट्राई एज मच एज पॉसिबल टू डू एज मेनी मॉक्स एज पॉसिबल दैट्स व्हाई फॉर यू गाइस हैव गिवन वन मॉक एवरी डे ओके सो अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट यू गाइस विल बी गोइंग फॉर बोनस क्वेश्चंस बोनस क्वेश्चंस आर ऑलवेज रिलेटिवली इजीयर देन द नॉर्मल 150 130 क्वेश्चंस राइट so lastly just to conclude this video in every section low scoring medium scoring or high scoring i have always mentioned one thing very common and that is formula book why am i stressing so much on the formula book like why because this is something that i started doing and it worked wonders for me the reason being one hour before your bedside you don't know what to do two hours before your bedside you don't know what to do you can't solve a paper because paper 3 ghante ka rehta you can't solve chapter wise questions kyunki samajh nahi aayega kaun se chapter se karu this is where the formula book comes into picture when you are stressing a lot you can get a very quick revision by just going through the pages of this formula book so if you are a low scoring student tum logon ka formula book uh, the three formula books each one will be 10 15 pages so you can always sit with them when you are driving to the uh, campus to give the exam or you are driving to the exam center whenever you are going to give the exam you can always sit with the formula book just go through the formulas ek 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 karke this will help you remember those formulas right and when you are whenever you are going through the paper and everything this will Sir, you will remember ki kaun sa formula tha because you've written it down in your formula book same way for the mid students if you make one formula book and divide it into three parts tum logon ke collectively 30 pages ya kuch rahenge you can always go through like two hours before 30 pages is nothing because sare formulas hi rehte hai bas you can always mark the formulas which you forget you can go through them two or three times at least same for the high scoring students even if you have one book bahut kam rahega tum logon ka because you guys are racing it already but when you have the formula book nothing like it you will always be able to remember the concepts of the formulas that you always forget and this is the advantage of the formula book apart from that don't lose hope if you have not aced your bitsat in your previous attempt ho jata hai sabse ho jata hai galti hai mere se bhi hui hai and uh, you guys can always ace it you guys have to attempt mere time pe to ek hi attempt rehta tha so you guys can always better your attempt and uh, even if you've done given a good first attempt don't skip your second attempt because you can do even more better in the second attempt so keep preparing keep pacing your bits at and if you have any doubts feel free to ask them i'm getting flooded with dms on instagram but i'm trying as much as possible to manage the instagram also the youtube comments also so i'm trying as much as possible to help you guys out if there are any doubts whatsoever do reach out i'm always there 
and uh, yeah i think you guys will ace it all the best don't stress much and in the next video i'll be talking about the strategy the kind of the kind of ways in which you can solve a paper like what to do during solving the paper like how will you solve your mocks how to solve your mocks so that you can use that strategy in your bedside wo sab baat karenge so do subscribe do like this video do comment on this video and i'll keep making videos the more comments i get the more ideas it gives me to understand each of your problems and based on your problems i make a video i'm not making a video for myself i'm trying to make a video for all you guys so yeah i think that's about it all the best for your bedside again and uh, don't binge watch don't binge watch multiple creators just take one creator watch one video of his and use those strategies in your uh, solving okay don't binge watch like 10 videos or something like that because fir aap dekhte hi reh jaoge and you won't be able to do anything in the solving so yeah i think that's about it thank you so much if you watch the video till the end see you mm-hmm.